everybody! Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we are in Florida at Walt Disney World at the Magic Kingdom for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2023. We are here for the opening night. We're gonna try all the interesting food. Yeah, there's a lot of really good looking stuff. It is very hot out, but I am still super excited. We had so much fun last year. Last year it was raining, so we didn't get to see all the entertainment. So hopefully we get to see the Hocus Pocus show tonight. So why don't you come with us on, on this, this adventure? adventure. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party takes place every year here at the Magic Kingdom and it takes place this year from August 11th until November 1st and tickets range from $109 to $180 or $90 depending on which night. We are here on the first night. Yeah, we are here August 11th. It is very warm outside. But you know what, I feel like Halloween, it, every year it starts earlier and earlier and I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. So I'm excited to get into the spooky season and have a great night. First things first, we had to go into the Emporium to check out some of the not so scary merchandise. And I needed to get myself a pair of ears and I found these adorable Mickey pumpkin ears. And now that I'm an ears girl, I feel like it's only right that I get these. They're so cute. I feel complete with them on. <laughs> I love it. We really don't have time to look at all the new Disney Halloween merchandise, but I gotta say, the stuff I'm seeing is incredible, and I think they've upped their game this year, and we're gonna have to come back and buy some. Oh my god, this wreath from Nightmare Before Christmas is everything. I feel like this is a, a must-have. It's so cool. They have a ton of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party merch. I think the highlight might be the spirit jersey. And I love these colors, the green and the purple. Yeah, the merch this year for 2023 is actually really cute. A lot of the stuff I'm so tempted to get, but I think my favorite is the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular Spirit Jersey. It's glittery, it's got the Sanderson sisters. There's even like ears for the Spectacular Celebration. Oh, is that what those are for? I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but they're, they look awesome. It almost looks like a Ouija board or something. Yeah, and they also have a t-shirt. Of course, the best t-shirt. They only make the best t-shirts for little kids. They have yeah. this tie-dye orange t-shirt. I love it. There's a ton of like glasses, mugs, there's pins. There's even an ornament. And also, pro tip, get the stuff quick, because I think last year, a lot of the stuff sold out before September for yeah. Halloween. Yeah, and if you get here, the event actually opens three hours early, so if you get here, use your time before the event officially starts to come in here and you can start buying all the merch. Let's woo, I mean, let's boo this. <laughs> so we, we were both here last year, but last year it rained. Nothing happened. Well, some stuff happened. Didn't see the, the spectacular, didn't see a thing at the castle, but they had pirates last year with live actors. They don't have that this year. They're out pillaging, doing other bad things. I don't have time for not so scary. Some people have said that the Hatbox Ghost might make it seem Who are these there. people? Tell me. Some random person just came up to us and was like- You're believing random people that come up to you and tell you things? No, but- uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's place our bets. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'll okay. put it on record. I, I, think I would like right. for it to happen. Okay. Yeah. First up, we're heading to Tomorrowland to go to Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. Now, I'm not sure if you knew this, but this is actually, apparently, the busiest restaurant in the United States and the third busiest restaurant in the world. It's crazy in there. Here, we ended up getting the zombie fingers. This is almond cookie fingers, key lime pie, white chocolate ganache, and salted caramel crisp pearls, and a sugar eyes. I gotta say, out of all the food items here tonight, <laughs> so you guys in Disneyland, you have trams. We've been, we've not had trams since everything shut down at Epcot and Hollywood Studios. I'm on a mission. Uh, we're a missing milk crate, right? <laughs> it's been missing. So it hasn't been seen since 2020, last seen at Epcot and Hollywood Studios. And if you want, you should call this number. Peter, do you want to call this number? Oh God. I, I think you should call this number. We're calling Universal Orlando Resort. <laughs> 
out of all the food items here tonight, I think this was the one that we were most excited about visually. It looks cool. I will say my, my zombie finger has already uh, fallen into pieces. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you're, you're uh, dead? Yeah, your body's <laughs> decaying and stuff like that. So we're gonna try this with a spoon. There's like a eye in there and stuff. This tastes like a deconstructed key lime pie. Our friends of Views and Cues need, need to try this. But I like this a lot. I'll give this like a four out of five beaters. The presentation is better than how it tastes, but you like key lime pie and you're coming to this party. Oh no, the other finger just oh, fell off. No, <laughs> My fingers are falling off. <laughs> falling apart. Four to five beaters. My pet's heads are, oh no. Sorry, I lost the fingertip. The longer it's been sitting out here in the heat, it's like turning into this like sludge. It wasn't like that before, but it's just like, it looks extra gross now. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Totally worth waiting 40 minutes for. <laughs> it's good, it's actually very good. I'd give it like a four and a half. Also at Cosmic Rays, we got the River Sticks Elixir. And what this is, is a kiwi lemonade with luster dust. You know that I'm a sucker for any drink that has glitter in it. And I saw that this one had a luster dust and I was like, ooh, we gotta try that. Ooh, this is actually really good. I love kiwi and it tastes really strongly like kiwi with a little bit of like tartness from the lemonade. It definitely is still like very sugary, but not as much as I was expecting. I'm giving this a five out of five. This is refreshing. It's just like a witch with a cauldron. You gotta stir it so that the, the glitter is equally mixed and creates a spell. That is refreshing, and it, it's a hot, hot day here in Orlando. <laughs> I'd give this like a four and a half out of five Peters. Oh. Narrowly am missing the uh, Ordinary Adventure Star, but this is really good. It's very sweet, so you need to like kiwi and like sweet. Yeah, so they, they canceled, I think, like half The Over at the Storybook Circus area, they have a meet and greet with the Seven Dwarfs from Snow White, which is pretty exciting because I've never seen them before. The line is incredibly long, of course, because it's not like Oogie Boogie. You actually have to wait in the line instead of just doing like a drive-by. But we wanted to take a little sneak peek of them and just come in and see them for a second. But when can you get a photo with all of them? I know. This is like collecting all the Infinity Stones at once. And it just made me realize like, what even are their names? Sleepy, Dopey, Grumpy, Doc. There's three more that I'm missing. Sneezy? Peter and Kitra. I don't know. We just walked out of there. It was like ice cold and now my glasses are fogged. Ah. We're here at Storybook Ice Cream. Ah, so we got the Hades Cone, Dole Whip, Mango, and Habanero soft serves topped with blue raspberry shell and a chili lime seasoning. Here we go. It is melting. We're just going to go in for it. Okay. Oh, oh. It's not good. Mm -mm. It's got a waxy penicillin flavor to it. Then you get this wonderful heat on the back end of it with a liminess. Um, this is, mm. oh, that part was good. The seasoning is good, right? It's a good little kick. But everything else, not a fan of it. And we'll do two heads. You want to try a bite? Sure. Okay, so at first, the blue raspberry shell gave it like a nice sweetness. It tasted kind of like a blue raspberry slushy, but the longer it like lingers in your mouth, it has a very weird consistency and like it just doesn't have a great aftertaste. But I think like obviously the the ice cream itself is good and I, I'm a fan of tahine. So it gives it like a little kick. I feel like a three out of five. It's, it's, it's cool looking and it's like rapidly melting down my hands. 20 minutes later. The more I ate that, the spicier it got. It has like, like a kick of spice in the ice cream itself, as well as this tahini on top. It's almost, it almost feels like a ghost pepper spice or something. Like it's like actually pretty spicy. Like if you, you have to eat it quick because it melts everywhere and gets all yeah. over your hands. Over at the Haunted Mansion, they got the spooky lights on. They got the fog rolling. It smells like Halloween Horror Nights over here. I don't know why they don't do this all the time because it is incredible. What's your favorite number? Uh, uh, 572. 572, I got it. Oh. Throw me out another. Throw me out another. 13. 13. 13. Oh. Oh. Did you get that one? Oh. Oh. How about that emotion? I like to emote. Okay. I love, I love, I, my name is Lady Carlotta. Everybody say, hi Lady Carlotta. Hi Lady Carlotta. I, I, I just had to ask you, how's everybody doing tonight? 
And I've been dead for a hundred years. Oh, I know that man got really excited. He's like, I got my telescope. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had a buffalo in my backyard just this morning. Yes. All right, everybody, everybody say hello to the maid. They don't do anything anymore. I mean, look at the cobwebs and like, uh, but they're so nice. <laughs> Wait, I know, I know. Did you just say shut the front door? What does that mean? We're going to open the front door right now. What was you on in? And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Send us a message from somewhere beyond. Awaken the spirits with your tambourine. While a lot of the character greetings here at this event are same, some of the same characters you can meet in the daytime, it's cool that you can meet one of the characters from Haunted Mansion. And you know what? We don't usually go on this version enough because we're usually in Disneyland and I like Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. The outside of it I think is better than this Haunted Mansion. I will say, I gotta admit, in the, the ride on this Haunted Mansion is better than Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. So, so Disney World wins that one. Right outside the Haunted Mansion at the vending cart, there's the Skull Brownie. This is a Mexican spiced chocolate brownie with dulce de leche, filling, and sugar eyes. And as you know, I, I love my Mexican hot chocolate. I love my caramel. Dulce de leche is just caramel, right? I think so. It tastes kind of like caramel. It's very similar. That's why I'm not a connoisseur of it, because I don't know. <laughs> but you can kind of see it squeezing out of his chin right there. My first bite was good, but I was expecting some of the dulce de leche inside there, but it looks like the, it's only like the needles they use to get in there, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to yeah. rip his <laughs> skull in half. Wait, where, huh, I thought there was gonna be more of that cream in there. If you like Mexican chocolate, like a little bit spicy as like a little bit of a, a kick, it's not like too spicy. It's a really dense, thick brownie. I'm a fan of those. It's good, I was, I was like expecting it to be dry or something, but it's like very moist and delicious. You really good. Four out of five. I'll finish it. This is a, not a sipper. No, it's actually well, a popcorn bucket, but. Oh, okay. I was, I was confused there for a second. I took the popcorn out. Well, that is, that is damn cool. You can cool. use double use. You can put your water bottle or you can put your popcorn. They should sell either one. Yeah, they're, I know, they should. They should. That's the true hero of tonight. The guy cleaning up after the headless horseman's horse's manure.
We just got done watching the Boo to You Parade, which is honestly, besides the Christmas parade at Disneyland, probably my second favorite Disney parade ever. I absolutely love it. And there's a few new additions this time, which fit in really well. That is like a must see when you come to this Halloween party. Like you have to make time to see the parade. It's so good. I just want to like inject the song into my veins. I love it so much. And we just happen to be right next door to Pecos Bill where they have a candy corn milkshake and you know that I love candy corn and I had to try it. This has sweet corn soft serve topped with whipped cream and sweet potato cornbread nuggets. Wow, that's what that is. And I was standing in line and I, I regretted not getting this Donald sipper last year. He glows in the dark. Look at him, I had to. I don't understand why the Walt Disney World parks always have a fancy ice cream cone. They always have some sort of milkshake that melts instantly. Like why? It's okay, it's fine. I'll just wash my hands again after this, it's fine. <laughs> oh God, it's getting all over them. This is, does not taste like candy corn, I'll tell you that. I wasn't sure if the flavors were gonna work together because it's like kind of like a sweet corn, but it's just sweet enough. Is this like a trick, like that pickle milkshake over at Epcot? Like I feel like this is kind of a trick, but I fell for it because I love candy corn. I wanna try this. Oh, this is so soggy. <laughs> so this was actually really good and now I can't finish it because I dropped it on the table. I'd give it like a three and a half out of five. Is it like amazing? No, but it's creative and I give them props for that, even though I don't, I still don't understand. Like, look at me. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to drink the rest of this. And a paper straw, come on. <laughs> okay, enough. Thank you. We're at the point in the night where we're about to be swimming in human like sweat and everything. This thing is like a sponge. I don't want it filling up with everybody else's sweat. So this goes away for the next couple hours. I will say, we were passing so many people and they were all giving you a thumbs up on, on that costume. You know, because everybody wants a trams back. That's why. But for right now, the billboard will be going away. Okay, next up, we're gonna run to the castle to catch the not so spooky, spectacular fireworks. Not so spooky, spectacular. There's too many S's. <laughs> the story that you were about to be told is one for both the young and the old. Unlike anything you've ever seen, get ready for this is Halloween. Some friends found out on a night much like this one.
that fireworks show is so amazing. I am jealous of what they can do I on know. the castle. Every time we watch the fireworks here, I'm not only amazed of like all the projections and all the fireworks going off from like every direction, but I'm just amazed that you could see them from like basically anywhere in Disneyland. You have to be really close in order yeah. to see anything. I love this show because it has a story and everything. Next up, we're going to see the Hocus Pocus villain, Spelltacular. Spelltacular. And we saw this last year, but we didn't because it rained so much that we saw like a four or five minute condensed version. So this is going to be our first time yeah! actually seeing the show. I'm so incredibly excited for this. I've heard it's awesome. By the way, pro tip, if you come to one of these events, line up the stuff so you can do the parade then the the show then the fireworks all in a row yeah. and that way you don't have to like keep coming to main street yeah you just have one spot and you're good <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. 
You can blame my friends on the Thank you, Dr. Fox. Silly, eh? I like him. Give me that for a, a mini. Do we need to hold a common circle? I am called. Thou no, art not being honest with thy son. Take my hand. Oh, oh. So we serve time. The ingredient. Read me the ingredient. Fine. Fairies, nightmare. As terrifying as the shadows on the moon at night, filling dreams to the brim with fright. Well, well, well. What have we here? What? I'm on to ask the same thing of you. you. What are you? What? I'm just little old Oogie Boogie. And you know, the shadow on the moon at night, filling your dreams to the brim with fright. Who is he? The various nightmares. Yes, yes. And what makes you feel so scary, you? I'm the stuff of your worst nightmares. You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. You're joking me. You gotta be. No matter how she tries. She's ancient. She's a But an oversight, then. Hmm? Perhaps you could help us. If it is frightful friends that you request, each incantation calls forth a guest. Now, oh, Queen, my power and right, bring poison arrows and give us a fright! Poison the underworld's ungodly domain. Just missing one last thing, the hair of an innocent 
so much fun. I was genuinely surprised when some of the villains came out because I didn't know like who was going to be next. The actresses who play the Sanderson sisters, flawless. They have amazing singing voices. Everything about that show was so much fun. And we had like really good seats. So like, ah, that was just so cool. Yeah, we showed up like 10 minutes before the show. Yeah. It's very easy to like get a good spot. So come get a good spot and enjoy the show. It's totally worth it. Totally worth it. That was so much fun. I loved it. I don't know about you, but I had a fun night. But I'm feeling 22. That was a Taylor Swift song. Yes, we had a great time. We are tired. We are sweaty. We are pumpkined out and it's time for bed. <laughs> but if you want to see our video from last year, we'll put it right over here. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Angela, Michael, Lisa, and Shannon. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.